an active place in innovation and a symbol of modern finance, and therefore is now hosting startup villages, a green fintech organization, and a fintech hub. Created by and with a range of partners, namely uh, Finance Innovation, Capgemini, Crédit Agricole, PPI France, uh, OVH, La Place Fintech is now a central meeting point where innovative actors uh, in finance and insurance discuss uh, the disruptive trends that are reshaping uh, our economy and where also they reinvent together the future of financial products and services. Our common actions uh, are devoted to promote fintechs, to create synergies and opportunities for the development of the activities of fintech in France and abroad. This is why this year we have been the first row spectator of the impact of the pandemic on the fintech and we did witness the very exciting acceleration on a few existing trends. So I would like to ask our partner from Capgemini here, uh, Elias Ganem, to uh, enlighten us about those trends in order to give us some um, backgrounds and uh, maybe perspectives to start this morning session, yeah, morning for France, uh, to the Switch Festival dedicated to the French ecosystem. So Elias, tell me, what can you tell us about 2020 trends in finance and fintechs? Thank you, Marion, and thank you for being here today and with all the innovation in full of Paris. Look, to talk about uh, 2020, I think we will try to put it into three big blocks. Money, which is the blood of the business, collaboration, which is the way forward, and then we will look also at the big tech, the one that are coming uh, as we go. So if we look at the financing part of it, and we could see and we compare the numbers between, and we, if you could see the slides, we would look at the numbers between comparing what happened in the world and what's happening in France. And clearly, 2020, we got all scared at the beginning of 2020. Things were not happening, everything got stopped, but it reactivated. And clearly, 2020 will be a good year when it comes to investment, being on a global basis and being also in France. If you look at the numbers, we finished 20, 20, 2019 with 42 billion investment in, uh, on a global basis, and we will finish 2020, we estimate, at 30. Yes, less, but having said that, it remains a, a solid numbers. When we bring the data to France, we did more than 850 million in 2019, and we will be there by end of 2020. So business is happening. What is very interesting also is when we look at the investment. The ticket size is growing and clearly it shows a maturity. There are less deals than the year before, but the ticket size is growing, which shows that the fintech has matured. We, we've been talking a lot about disruption and now it's from disruption to maturity. And clearly maturity brings us to the second point in terms of collaboration. And if we go to the second slide, it's all about what we could see happening in the market in terms of collaboration. Clearly, for the last few years, all the banks have been looking at the fintech ecosystem of saying, will it stay, will it last, will it impact or not? Clearly, it is here to stay. And what we could see here, if you look at the global part, well, there are investments all over the place, there are collaboration all over the place, and here just a few brands, Goldman Sachs working with Final, Dutch Bank working with Traxpay, DBS working with Infor, HSBC working with Identity. Clearly, we could see that the startups are enabling banks to be much more digital. If we bring it home in France, same thing. And we are quite proud of to see what is happening in France. More than 200 banks and fintech partnerships in France for the last few years. More than 57 uh, French fintech with investment from financial institutions. Significant numbers. This is at French scale, more into the hundred of million or the dozen of, of million rather than the billion, but it's already happening. We could see all the key brands in France, Société Générale, that just uh, bought Shine recently, BNPP, that is having a partnership with OneUp, and finally Crédit Agricole with Linkso. Clearly, we could see that banks has embarked on this effective collaboration. We had the years before in terms of open innovation, much more uh, uh, POCs and ideas. Now it's becoming built. 
But if we go to the third slide and we look at what's happening in terms of the big players, clearly big tech are coming. And by all means, anybody who would have said, will big tech ever come to my business? It's not will, is when. And clearly we could see today that if we look at the global basis, all large banks are having partnerships with uh, big tech. And by big tech, of course, we mean the Google, Apple, Facebook, Amazon, but as well as Ant Financial, Tencent, and so on. Look at, on a global basis, DBS doing a partnership with the Ant Group, Ant that was about to do its IPO and got postponed, largest IPO expected. BBVA leveraging the channel of Amazon to sell financial services. Goldman Sachs and Apple, the Apple Card, really waiting for it to come to France to, get, to be the first one to get the Apple card. We could see that today everybody is looking forward to have that because Apple is an experience more than a banking service and Goldman Sachs is enabling it. And finally, the last one, Google announcing recently that they will have a banking account, uh, a current account in the next year with plenty of services offered across multiple banks. But in France as well, we are also more and more in partnership with the big tech ecosystem. We could see BNPP working with Amazon and getting to know activities when it comes to the asset management. BNPP as well with WeChat, leveraging the channel of communication for the, the Chinese community and the Chinese traveling into France, and this is the, the right one. And by the way, we hope that the Chinese will fly again to France and uh, visit uh, our country. And finally, when we look at Société Générale, that through its uh, digital bank, Bossorama, working with Google and enabling the first one to enable Google Play. So, to conclude, we really see that globally, fintech and uh, banks are collaborating, big tech are coming, and by all means, France is quite advanced also in terms of collaboration, investment, as well as what we could do with the big tech. Thank you, Elias. So what I see that France has to be quite a lot to be proud about the dynamisms of this fintech uh, ecosystem. But regarding the last trend, the big tech one, what should be done in the French ecosystem to follow the global trend? And indeed, France and more widely Europe is mobilizing all, uh, all the actors, so the banks, the regulators, the fintechs, to provide an uh, enabling environment to match our ambitions. Lucky for us, we have today with us the best speaker, uh, I think, to, uh, to enlighten us about the French strategy and European initiative to support international development for fintech.